Well, why is in front of these captains? You already know. Popping. Ain't no stopping me, man. Steady rocking. Watch them hate on me now, cause I'm locked in. Watch the hate on me now, cause I'm popping. I ain't stopping. And the New York Giants are the Super Bowl champions. What's going on, Giants fans, sports fans, NFL fans? Welcome back to another episode of G Nation Inside Sports. I'm your host, Big Lou, of course. And I'm going to do my first mock draft of the 2023 uh, NFL season. Um, I know a lot of people have put their mock drafts out and made a few mock drafts already. Um, I myself wanted to wait, put a little more eyes on, on some of the players and and uh, do some research and find out some of the tendencies. So um, we're going to go ahead and we're going to get into this draft. All right, fellas. All right. So as you can see here, I have the New York Giants selected seven rounds. Very fast. Let's get into it. All right. So. We picked 25th, of course. Now, I know a lot of people gonna um, Okay. Manuel Forbes, Cam Smith. All right, guys. Um, Jordan Battle. Um, Believe it or not, guys, I think I'm going to go wide receiver. And it looks like Zay Flowers out of Boston College will be the New York Giants' first pick. Now, I gambled... And my guy is gone. I wanted the center. Um, John Michael Smiths. I knew he wasn't going to make it to me at 57. Um, but Luke Weipler is a decent center. So I'm going to go with him. And definitely need to see cornerback Garrett Williams. Let me see the linebacker position. All right, so a few of the guys that I have spoken about in my previous videos are still there. Um, let me see. Hmm. I think I'm going to go a 
with the cornerback position here. Um, Garrett Williams, huh? Hmm. Let me see. Let me just just look here. Yeah, I think I like uh, Tomlinson a little better. I'm gonna take Tomlinson here. Okay. Round three here, huh? I'll take A.T. Perry. I'm going through this kind of fast, like I said, because um, I, I uh, pretty much know what positions I've looked at and what... Um, what kind of guys uh, would fit the New York Giants system. I think a guy like Ojomo here. Hmm. All right. Let's see what we got at safety here. Wendell Johnson, Trey Dean. Hmm. All right. Let me go to linebacker. Cam Jones. Fifth round. This is a guy I really like, but I think I can get him in later rounds. So, um, listen, everybody knows we couldn't stop the run last year. So... Get mad at me all you'd like. But, uh.
and I'm not just drafting guys because of how good they are on film or whatever. If it doesn't fit the Giants' um, scheme, you know, ain't no point in drafting the guy. It's a waste of time, makes him look bad, hurts the team. Um, so, yeah, I'm not one of those guys who just grabs the shiny new toy. Um, Let me see. Caleb Chandler. What are the cornerbacks are there? Safety. Brandon Hill. And just for good measure, um, we're we picking at 217. Who's there? Mm -mm. Hmm. Yeah. All right, what we got? One pick left? Hell no. Still got three after this one. All right. So let's see. We got it running back. Ibrahim, Tavion Thomas. I'll take him. Yes, sir. And, guys, I know I'm not as fancy as a bunch of other guys. I don't got a bunch of music in the background. and But we are going to get it done. tight end even though we signed one in free agency Marshawn Ford huh Jesus Christmas oh no 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 how about that there he is Drake Thomas I 
Jones, Jay Ward, Miles Brooks, Terrell Smith. I grab Terrell Smith. And let's see. Anthony Bradford, 65. Spencer Anderson, 62. Hmm. Wow, that's the only defensive lineman left. Let's see. All right. Well, this is the last pick. And uh, you know what? We'll give Michael Jefferson a shot from the Raging Cajuns and call it a day. Let's see how we did on the draft. All right. Got an A for Zay Flowers, a B for Luke Weipler, a B for Tomlinson, an A plus for A.T. Perry, a B minus for a Jomo, an A for Cam Jones. A D for Brandon Hill, a C minus for Tavion Smith, an A minus for Drake Thomas, C plus for uh, Terrell Smith, and a B plus for Michael Jefferson. Overall draft grade was a B plus. I'm fine with that. I'm pleased with that. Um, I believe that we have a lot of needs that we need to address, and um creating competition in each one of those position groups uh, will bring out the best of the competitors. And um, that's what we need. We need to keep the best guys that will have an impact on this team and make a difference. So um, that's been my first draft for the 2023 season, guys. Make sure you subscribe. Hit that thumbs up button. You got to hit the thumbs up button. It's absolutely free. That's what helps me as a YouTuber to get my videos out there for people to see it and potentially subscribe. Hit that thumbs up button. That is the most important thing. Thumbs up, subscribe, leave your comments, thoughts, opinions, and ideas in the comment section. And then, as always, guys,